Yeah, I know what you're thinking, and you're not wrong. NX did just have a huge release a couple weeks ago with NX 15.3. If you missed it, be sure to check out our video on the NX 15.3 release as it is chock full of awesome features that you do not want to miss. But over the past couple of weeks, we've been able to land quite a few awesome features. So we're back at it again today, launching NX 15.4, including Vite 4 support, a new NX watch command, Webpackless Cypress for React standalone applications, SSR support for module federation for React React and Angular applications, running multiple targets in parallel for multiple projects, and support for interactive prompts on custom presets. So let's get right into it with Vite 4.0 support. NX 15.4 brings in the latest Vite major version following the Vite 4 release earlier this month. As the Vite launch article mentions, we are investing in the Vite ecosystem and now officially support a first party Vite plugin. NX 15.4 continues this investment with timely support for Vite 4, and we're excited to be a part of the Vite ecosystem and a part of bringing more value to our developers through Vite support. Projects already using our at narwhal slash Vite plugin will be automatically upgraded to Vite 4 when they upgrade to the latest NX version with the NX migrate command. And you can check out more details about our Vite plugin, including how to add Vite and Vite test to your existing NX workspace by visiting our docs at nx.dev slash packages slash Vite. Next up, NX Watch. NX 15.4 includes a new feature to support file watching using NX. Here's how it works. The command follows the syntax NX Watch followed by a projects modifier option followed by two dashes and then your targeted command. For example, if I wanted to build all touch projects on save, I would run the command NX Watch dash dash all dash dash NX build dollar sign NX project name. For the modifier option, you can use dash dash all to watch all projects in your workspace, or you can filter down to specific projects with the dash dash projects option, which can also be used in conjunction with a dash dash include dependent projects option as well. The NX watch command will support the variables dollar sign NX project name and dollar sign NX changed files. This feature opens the door for nice developer workflows where we can provide an out of the box mechanism for NX to run relevant tasks on save. We're excited to see our users get their hands on this feature. Next up, Webpackless Cypress support for our React standalone preset. We added a React standalone preset in NX 15.3 to support single React application workspaces, and in 15.4, we're adding back in Cypress support for this preset. With NX 15.4, standalone React applications will be created with an end-to-end -end directory pre-configured and optimized for running Cypress with the command npx nx e2e e2e as soon as your initial workspace is generated. Next up, we've got server-side rendering support for module federation for both React and Angular applications. Now you can get the benefits of both server-side rendering and module federation for your applications, which will improve page loads, search engine optimization, and build times. Our existing host and remote module federation generators have an added dash dash SSR flag that will enable server-side rendering by generating the correct server files. We've also added a new executor to allow you to serve the host server locally, along with all remote servers from a single command. Be sure to check out our docs for more information. NX 15.4 includes updates to the NX run many commands, allowing you to add multiple white space separated targets, as well as globs in the projects option. For example, the command npx run many dash dash target test build lint would run all test build and lint targets in your workspace. And now you can also filter this down to select projects via globbing. For example, npx nx run many dash dash target test build lint dash dash projects domain dash projects dash star. This will now run all test build and lint targets for all all projects in your workspace that start with domain products. Last but not least, we've added support for interactive prompts for custom presets. But before we talk about interactive prompts for custom presets, I'm going to interactively prompt you to like this video and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on new NX features and news as it happens. Now that that's out of the way. <laughs> In NX, presets are special code generation scripts that can be used to create a brand new NX workspace using our create NX workspace command. For instance, I happen to know Shai Resnick at Builder.io has been working on a quick plugin for NX. And since the quick NX plugin he's published includes a generator called preset, I can run the command npx nx create nx workspace dash dash preset equals quick nx, where the preset matches the name of his published NPM package. This custom preset feature has been around 
for a while, but as of NX 15.4, we've added support for these custom presets to interactively prompt the user following the initial installation step. This should open up some powerful functionality for plugin and package authors to parameterize their code generation scripts with NX, and we're excited to see folks like Shy, Builder.io, and Quick leverage this new feature. That's it for this release. Be sure to check out the description below for a link to our detailed blog post on NX 15.4. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest NX features. So until next time, happy holidays to all, and to all, a good night.